There you are, scrolling through the endless keyboard posts and YouTube videos, looking for the perfect keyboard. But something just isn't right. Or maybe there was a perfect looking keyboard with all the features you want, but they just no longer make it. Well, chances are in this video, I'll be able to show you how you can build your dream keyboard. Making a custom keyboard is not easy. This is a video meant so that anyone can get started. There are two paths you can take to make a keyboard. One, using an open source design to edit simple things, like how the PCB looks with pictures or text. Or you can go full out and design your own PCB. Because I'm pretty sure most of you watching this video are totally new when it comes to PCB creation, I will be using the open sourced option in this video. Now, what did I want? I wanted a 40% standard staggered keyboard layout that featured some sort of dual thumb usage. This is because my layout requires two thumb keys. To find the best board for this, I used an open source keyboard library. I used this Git repository by Help14. It basically has all the open source keyboards along with the component types you could possibly want. The CPM43 was my choice. If you already have a keyboard in mind, search it up and maybe it's actually open sourced. But in reality, all you need is the PCB Gerber files. Let's say you wanted to put some custom text on your PCB. This is very simple. So first, the software you need for this is KiCad. Once you have the software, what you want to do is go ahead and open your KiCad software files and find the PCB if you are using the open source option, as you can see in the video. If you are making your own, this is the same process. You have, you have to import your project or make your project in KiCad. Now, once you've done that, simply open the PCB Go ahead and select whatever layers you want. I'm doing this so that it's easier to see the text. And just double click the text. And here you can edit it to whatever you'd like. Now, as a quick reminder, I did not make this keyboard. So all credits go to TTRX and Croa. The GitHub repository will be in the description. Now, what if you wanted to put a logo? So the first thing you'll want to do is to head onto one of these websites that lets you convert your PNG, JPEG, whatever file to a BMP file. So once you have all of that done, what you're gonna go ahead and do is to download the file and then open back up KiCad. You're gonna want to open the image converter. With that open, make sure, as for my image at least, I had to negate it. And make sure you find out your correct image size. So use the PCB reference as a reference for the size. Once you got that, make sure you export to clipboard. Then all you do is copy and paste into your PCB once you open it up and you're done. Now, what about making your entire PCB from scratch? Well, let's be honest, if you know how to do that, you wouldn't be watching this video. But I do want this video to serve as an introduction to those who don't know that they can actually design their own PCB. Here are some amazing videos by other creators that go over this topic. Check out some of them to learn how to do this. However, due to the complexity of this topic, I cannot cover it in this video, but do check them out. If you want me to make a full guide making a keyboard from scratch, hit the like button and I may consider it. 
In any case, let's get on to the easier stuff. This will be most influenced by which PCB you choose. However, the method I will show here should work regardless of what you choose. The first thing to do is to make the plate. I must give a huge thanks to Swolkeeb, who made this amazing tool that creates cases for you. As a quick side note, there is also a new tool that is created by AI03. Check that out. Using this tool, I generated my plate and case. This is a very basic design and is a sandwich mount. If you take into account the size of the plate and mess around with it, you can really create any case you like. Just make sure whatever you create will fit your PCB size. However, what I created should help serve as a very basic guideline. Now, the material type. Allegro is currently offering special discounts for the manufacturing of keyboard cases. These currently extend to 3D printing and acrylic laser cutting. Because this PCB has underglow, I decided to go with matte black mid plates and a clear bottom plate. Since the designer automatically created all of the pieces for me, this is good enough. But I'll also quickly show my method if you wanted to 3D print. Please note, if you use the service I used, however, you will need to 3D print the plate. And I'll explain why right now. As a quick note, everything here is pulled off of this website. Big thanks to Matt 30 So keyboards are basically designed like this. The PCB is usually about 1.6 to 1.2 millimeters, but most commonly is about 1.6. The plate is usually 1.5 millimeters. The option on Electro's website is only offered at 2 millimeters minimum for acrylic. That is why I decided to 3D print mine. Now, as for the design itself, again, I went with something very simple. So I did a screwless sandwich mount. If you don't know what it is, it's basically this. It's sandwiching all the parts together. Now, due to the inherent design of this mount, there is going to be some space between the bottom of the PCB and the bottom of the case. So to support the PCB, I added about an additional 18.5 millimeters from the bottom of the PCB. This is so that I can place in basically sound dampening foam that would both help the sound of the keyboard and also support the PCB. As a result, my specifications turned out to be this. I had my top plate 3D printed out of translucent resin. This was at 1.5mm. I had 4 pieces for the mid plates. These were all acrylic laser cut and they were matte black in the P502 color. These were each 5mm. Finally, the bottom plate was also acrylic laser cut, and it was transparent at 2mm. Now, what if you wanted to 3D print your plate? Well, from the switch plate, it is the same process. Here, I will demonstrate how I turn all the DXF files into usable 3D printing files. So, the way we're going to do this is basically you're going to want to open your DXF files up in the CAD software of your choice. The CAD I'm using in this video is FreeCAD. I'll link the guide I used, but it's relatively simple. So what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and select all the shapes that make up your almost line art like type image, and you're going to want to convert all of that into a wire. So that's what I did. And then once it is a wire, you want to convert it into a sketch and for some reason generate it too. But once we get rid of that, we can go ahead and basically turn the sketch into a 3D image by selecting the height and whatever we want. And I'm going to select 1.5 here to make sure I have the correct plate thickness. For most keyboards, this can be between 1.5 and 1.6. It should around there should generally be OK. You can really use any CAD software you like, but this is the one I used. You're also free to design any case you like, but keep in mind the PCB dimensions. I wanted this tutorial to be very basic so anyone can get started, so that's why I used such a simple design. Now let's move on to the final and shilling part. Yes, this video is sponsored. Electro is currently offering a promotion for keyboard enthusiasts to help them create their dream keyboard. Their current promotion lasts from March 26 to April 26. It includes discounts for PCB manufacturing, 3D printing, and acrylic laser cutting. These are all tools that we will need to use in order to bring our keyboard to life. I genuinely appreciate more companies supporting the custom keyboard scene, and I am not being paid to say this. But in any case, here I am on the Electro promotional page. Let's first begin with PCB fabrication. So once you have everything ready, we're going to go ahead onto the PCB manufacturing. I'm going to open that up and what you're going to want to do here is add your PCB Gerber. 
And with that added, what you want to do is find your PCB dimensions. You can measure this in KiCad, the PCB viewer. And that's going to set your quantity itself. So we're going to select 1.6. There are actually 1.2 millimeter boards, but we're going to stick with 1.6. I like black, so we're doing black. And HSL letter free, because why not? Got your production time, shipping date, and wherever you live. PCB stencil, we will not need it for this. And PCB assembly, I highly recommend this. So what you're going to want to do here is basically fill in all the information for everything you'll need. And what you're going to need for this is that you will need to send them a BOM of materials. Now let's move on to the plate and the case. So for the plate, at least for me, I'm going to go ahead and upload the 3D file into the 3D printing service. There's auto quotation and manual quotation. Either one should work. For the mechanical keyboard project, the special price is photosensitive resin, so that's what we're going to be using. So finally, let's move on to the case. So I'm going to do acrylic laser. So what you want to do here is upload your DXF file directly and make sure you know the dimensions. This will also be on the case generation website already. I'm going to use two millimeters since this will be the bottom plate but you can use whatever you want. And well, that's everything. Now all we have to do is wait. But since this is my video, let's do a quick flash forward and take a look at how it turned out. 